Hey y'all, Cohen here. So I mentioned that I was going to do a video because yesterday I went to the McLean Clinic. Now, there's been a lot of talk about things happening with OHIP and things being canceled and whatnot. So I'm just gonna clear a little bit of it up because I've seen OHIP's posts, which OHIP is saying that nothing is changing and there's nothing going on where they're not 100% lying, but they're not telling the truth. Um, I've talked to patients of the McLean Clinic and patients that are concerned with this OHIP thing that's going on. And I've also talked to someone involved in the original post that was put up by a mother of a trans person. And then I've also talked to Liz and Lorelai at the McLean Clinic, who are the ones that pretty much try to make sure that everything goes smoothly on the business end and everything. So one of the biggest issues that the McLean Clinic is facing right now is that they were given five years worth of funding and OHIP has done what they have done. We've already talked about how the contouring isn't covered because it's more costly at McLean's than it is in Montreal. So let's just say right off the bat right now that Montreal gets funding that the McLean Clinic doesn't. So it's not, they're both OHIP funded, but at the same time, they're not being given the equalness. They don't equal each other out. Um, McLean Clinic also, because you are allowed to pick your surgeon, has a bigger wait list, has more people that want to go to McLean's than Montreal. Not that Montreal doesn't have awesome results, but a lot of people do prefer McLean. Now, one of the biggest issues that's been happening is that OHIP approves people, right? So you have gone to your doctor, your doctor has sent in the letters to see if you are approved for OHIP coverage for your surgery and you've picked your surgeon. Well, OHIP has pushed a lot of those through and it's a matter of they are not allowing the number of surgeries to happen as they are for the number of people they're pushing through. So what has been happening specifically at the McLean Clinic, because I have not heard anything about Montreal, and Montreal technically I don't think is being affected because they don't have as long of a wait list as McLean's does. Now, with McLean's, OHIP gave them quotas for every year since they've been given funding. Now that funding has to be renewed, and the McLean Clinic, Liz and Lorelai, have been emailing and messaging OHIP and trying to work it out and trying to figure out why they aren't being given the same shake as Montreal. This is causing a lot of uproar because there is some truth in what's going on online. So, what's going on is that if you have already had a consult with the McLean Clinic, you will still get to have your surgery. Nobody's surgeries are being canceled unless they have decided to cancel them on their own. McLean is going to push through all the people that have consults. So if you have had a consult with McLean around June, July, and August, you can call their clinic and you can ask when you can book a surgery date. They should be able to start giving surgery dates out in June. A lot of their patients that have already had consults have been told this. So... Anyone who has had a consult with McLean's should not worry. If you are worried, please give the office a call or email because Liz is willing to talk to everybody. Um, so if you're having, if you had a consult, you're waiting on a surgery date, you will get your surgery. Now, the issue is that because OHIP pushed so many people through, they're now saying that McLean Clinic is no longer allowed to perform any surgeries until 2022. So as of 2020, that's when things are supposed to stop. So they're not supposed to book into 2020 and then they're not allowed to book any surgeries until 2022 to do with funding and things like that, which this is a problem with OHIP, not with the McLean Clinic. They would love to keep pushing people through, but they don't have the funding to do so because OHIP doesn't give the same shake, like I've said. So at that point, what is happening right now is that the clinic is calling patients that have not had consultations but have been approved. They are canceling your consultations, but they will rebook with you. It's just a matter of, at this point, they're being told that they can't book surgeries until 2022, 
and they don't feel it fair to bring people in for consults knowing that they can't give a surgery date for almost two years. Now, hopefully, if we can get OHIP to pay attention and understand this, because they also feel at McLean Clinic that if you live in Ontario, why should you have to go to a different province just to get your surgery done if McLean's has a big wait list and stuff? So the funding doesn't really work out the way that it should, and it's not being... It's not being allocated the way that it was supposed to be, I guess, in a way. And this renewal is not looking like it's going to be easy. So while Montreal is still pumping away and doing everything that they're supposed to do, they're still allowed to do that because they aren't putting through as many people as McLean's is. And that is by patient choice, obviously. So it is OHIP that is saying like, nah, you've done too many, so now you gotta put a hold on. So everybody who has not had a consult yet is gonna be waiting and their consults will be canceled. You should be getting a phone call. If you do not, it is honestly a matter of the lists are so big that they are trying their best and they honestly feel terrible about what is going on. They honestly do. And at the end of the day, it's a matter of they are canceling consults if you have not had a consult yet, but you have approval. So I don't know how that works on OHIPs and as far as um, because a lot of the approvals do have uh, an expiry date, a deadline and things like that. So your best bet, you can always call the McLean Clinic or email them and they will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, please remember they are also a plastic surgery clinic as well because that's what McLean started out as and they do so many top surgeries but they also have other patients as well so they do their best as they can to be able to do this now i'm sure if the ohip funding was different it would be easier but it's not so their one request is that people actually contact ohip and ask them point blank now obviously ohip's gonna say that nothing's changing because technically at this point in time nothing is changing legally but they are telling the mclean clinic to stop so it's a matter of they're kind of stuck in the middle just trying to figure everybody out and see what's going to happen and it's not looking too awesome for their patients and they're really upset about it. Now, everybody has different opinions. Everybody says different things. I am just giving you the opinions that I have heard. So I've gotten opinions from patients like I said from McLean's and then we've had the posts from OHIP which let's be honest guys our government has never been kind towards us so why would they start now it may not be 100% true because they're not doing it to Montreal Clinic but there is something going on to do with the McLean Clinic and them not having funding renewal and things like that which would allow them to continue so I kind of just want to tell everybody to take a breath. If you are in this situation, you have the option to call the clinic and you also have the option to talk to your personal doctor and you have the option to talk to OHIP. Now, the way the government is, our best bet sometimes is to start getting questions answered by the government because a clinic can only tell you so much and a clinic can only do so much, especially when they're under the thumb of the government, just like the rest of us. We're all under a thumb. So it's no different for a business like that. I kind of want to leave the video there. I think I have pretty much given the down low of what's going on. So at the end of the day, nobody's surgeries are being canceled. Consultations for approved persons are being canceled but that's only because they're not allowed to do surgeries till 2022. And in 2020, it's kind of like, stop. So if any of this is confusing to you, please call and talk to Liz or try to speak to um, OHIP because there's a lot going on and obviously there's going to be things all over the internet. There's going to be fake news. There's going to be real news. There's going to be opinions out the wazoo. But if this affects you, just try to get right to the source and the point so that you can figure that out for yourself. I hope that this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, you can always comment below or you can DM me on trans fellas. Um, I don't know much more than what I've put into this video. So please just remember to be kind and respectful to everybody because things are up in the air. 
and the governments are obviously changing and doing what they want to do and obviously covering up and telling the truth and lying and whatever it may be. So we kind of just have to start seeing where this goes from this point. But I suggest anybody who is going to be affected by this to try to get in contact with someone so that you can figure out what's going on for yourself. Anyhow, I will talk to you all later and I hope that you have an awesome week. Peace.